Good afternoon and welcome to the Nutter Center here at Wright State University. Today is the Division 7 final matchup between the Tiffin Calvert Senecas and the Fort Laramie Redskins. My name is Mark Schein. My pleasure to be playing by play alongside Chris Rudholm. Chris, each of these teams have been here before. They're veteran teams playing in the state tournament. They've been here before and they've been here recently. And uh, these girls have all seen uh, older girls play when they were in middle school down here, and then they've maybe even participated down here in themselves when they were younger. I think this is the match of the tournament, actually. Well, I'm not a real pole champion guy. You know, I like to see things settled on the court, but this year the polls got it right. Number one, Fort Laramie. Number two, Tiff and Calvert, each with veteran coaches. Right, and the coaches have been here before. Uh, these teams between the two of them have only one loss all year, and that was to Coldwater, and Coldwater is down here in the state tournament. So so they're just the, the top two teams in Division Seven by far. And not only are there teams here, but tremendous individual talent because each team has three players who were first team all Ohio this year. Yeah, so uh, uh, who we got here? Yeah, this is uh, Calvert has Bella Borgio, first team, great player, Bryn Dirksen, second team, and Emily Miller, third team. Of course, Emily Miller is the sister of Hannah Miller who played down here when she was in school and now she's playing at the University of Finley. And then Fort Lormie has A.V. Brandewi and, and Jenna Barhorse both made first team and Victoria Mesher made second team. And they both played extremely well yesterday down here. All, all six of these girls did. Of course, we have a chance to follow uh, Fort Lormie more than we do Tiffin Calvert based with their proximity. They have lost a total of three sets all year. They lost a, a two-set match to, to Coldwater's very first match of the year. They lost one set to New Bremen. They've lost a total of three sets on the season. And they don't play an easy schedule. They play, of course, the Shelby County League is a tough league, and then their neighbor to the north, the Midwest Athletic Conference, they play a lot of these teams. They play some Saturday tournaments where the, the very best D6 and D7 teams in the state play. Our officials today, our two line judges are Grace Elkert and Neil Kime. Our R1 is Kimberly Tolan. This is Kimberly's 17th year of officiating high school volleyball, her second state tournament. Her partner, the R2, is Lisa Horner. Lisa is in her 34th year of officiating high school volleyball. This is her 11th tournament. And Chris, you get voted on to be here. It's an honor for the officials to be here as well. Yeah, and, and uh, they just do a fantastic job, and they very take their job seriously. And these four have all been here before, too. Our presenting sponsor today is Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776. 3097 and our first set sponsor today is ultimate outdoor they bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by ultimate outdoor for armies in the black jerseys with red trim they are on the right side of your screen tiffin calvert they are in the blue jerseys and white with a libero they are on the left side of your screen and we are ready for the division seven state championship match and the first service will go to deanna rota heifer from fort Laramie. To the libero, Schoenberger. First hit goes to Emily Miller. And this will be Brandewi. Set to the backside. Miller again. Jenna Barhorse hits it over. Victoria Messer shots blocked, but they keep it alive and still in play. That's off a blocker. Far side to Brandewi, and she goes off a blocker. That hit was made by Megan Rombach, and Chris, if that first point's any indication of the match, this is going to be a tremendous high school volleyball well, that match. That was wonderful. I, I, I didn't really see what Fort Lormie was questioning there in the middle of that. I, Did you see, I didn't see unless somebody maybe was in the net, they thought. But the odd thing is they were able to continue to play and keep the ball active. This service yep. will be by Gracie Miller. Mesher tips it straight down. Victoria Mesher scores for her team. We're tied at one. Fort Laramie got here yesterday with a three-set victory over Strasburg Franklin. Tiffin Calvert also a three-set victory yesterday. They did so um, against uh, St. Paul. From behind the 10-foot line, Gracie Miller. 
Ball is hit by Jenna Barhorse and eventually ends up being a Fort Laramie point. It's 2-1 Redskins early. And Mesher will serve. Both of these teams have won state championships. 2014 for Coach Rogers. Of course, Kiff and Calvert seems like they're here every year. Serve. Set by Dirksen. Hit off a blocker that time by Borgio. Punched over by Miller from the back row. Miller, Emily Miller scores for her team. We're tied at two as the libero, Claire Schoenberger, serves. She had five aces yesterday in their win over St. Paul. Has 64 of them on the season. Barhorse was set. Brandewee rolls it to the middle of the floor and scores. 3-2 Fort Laramie. Fort Laramie's got three kills by three different players. And a Barhorst will serve, future Xavier Musketeer. Dirksen will set, back set, hit over that time by Rombach. And a play by the libero, Ruffman. They're gonna go again, also goes to Boggio, and they're gonna keep it alive again. Set in the middle this time. That hit was by Ware. Brandewee goes off a blocker. That's blocked at the middle by Geyer. And Calvert comes back to score. We're tied at three. Second kill by Gracie Miller, the freshman. She only plays in the back row, and she's got two kills already. Gracie Miller came into this game with just 45 kills on this, by 35 kills on the season. How many ace serves? She has 103. Can that be? Yes. Wow. Point. And back to serve will go Avery Brandewee, a first team All Ohio player. Avery had 40 aces on the season. It's only half as many as the team leader, Rhoda Heffer. Cross court pass, Hope Ware. And we're tied at four. Ware had 10 kills yesterday in their match against uh, Norwalk St. Paul. Just a freshman. Yeah. In fact, as you mentioned earlier, there's not a senior on the roster. 22, Katie Coleman, the sophomore, will serve. She has 74 aces, two yesterday. Brandon, we tracks it down. Can Luffman get it over? Wow. Oh, how about that? Hit. Kill that time by Emily Miller. 5-4. Good luck hitting Wood today, Chris. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, five kills from Calvert, four different girls. Coleman both team, serves. Both teams really mixing it up. Ace. Our ace today are brought to you by Lee's famous recipe chicken located in Wapak, Dolphus, and St. Mary's. Located and operated, Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering, too. 6-4. Ooh, that ball barely cleared the net. Rhoda Heffer will hit. Emily Miller. And we making a huge effort. Sprawled out in the court, couldn't quite get there, but it's 7-4 Calvert. We've got this huge Fort Laramie crowd behind us. Line drive serve. Block. Good play by Luffman, but they can't keep it alive. It's 8-4. This is proving to be a good service run for Kate Coleman. Right there's an example of how this loose net makes it very difficult to pull that ball out of there when it's in the net. Coleman, line drive, serves. Be pushed over, but not quite over by Deanna Rodeheffer. 9-4. Five consecutive points have been scored by Coleman. And we're going to get our first timeout. Fort Army, you're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Reese Myring and company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Reese Myring 
has seen the scoreboard go 9-5, in, or 9-4, excuse me, in favor of Calvert. And Kate Coleman's on a five-point service run. Well, she serves a really nice floater serve, which is uh, really a lot of players will say is more difficult to pass than a, than a hard topspin serve like Gracie Miller serves. 5-6 sophomore will serve. And she line drives it out. First missed serve of the game for either team. 9-5. As Katie Luffman will serve, senior libero. Dirksen will back set this time. That's Black. Mesher was there. Oh, went on the side of Calvert. Uh, that tricked me, and we're, uh, we're about as close as you can get, Mark. I thought that was blocked across the net. I did as well. Hope Ware will serve. Set, hit by Rhoda Heifer. Wow. Rhoda Heifer again, and this time she scores. 10-6. That's her first kill. And to serve, Jenna Hoying. Jenna has 34 aces on the season. Dirksen will set backside this time. Morris, and what do we got? Point, let's get Wait a minute to see how that call was going to go. Point goes the way of Fort Army. Just well, a second the, hit must, the hit must have been into the antenna, Mark. I, I missed the call if that was what it was. That's Black. Messer is there, along with Jenna Barhorst. That five-point lead has been shaved to two at 10-8. Well, I would say that timeout worked. Yeah, absolutely. Scored the last three points. Rhoda Heffer will serve for the third time. And she will chalk up the lead. Famous Rescue Chicken Ace. 10-9. She leads this team in aces this year. Excuse me, Jenna Wenhung has 34 aces this year. That would be number 35. I was looking at Rhoda Heffer's stat numbers. Yet another good serve. Back set. That time the set was too close to net for Emily Miller to do anything with, and Fort Army's come back to tie it at 10. Timeout, Calvert. We're tied at 10 in the first set. Come back for more exciting volleyball. You're watching the state tournament on WOSN. We're back at the Nutter Center here at Wright State University. Our ace sponsor today is Lee's Famous Rescue Chicken, lo located in Wapak, Dolphus, and St. Mary's. Look, run and operate. Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering, too. Service by Jenna Hoying. Mark, we got Fort Lormie scoring six out of the last seven points, so the momentum is with them. This will be her fifth serve, and she puts that one in play. Back set. Miller goes off a of block and it falls on the side of Calvert. It's 11 10 Fort Laramie. That's the second block for a point so far for Fort Laramie. When Fort Laramie called timeout, they trailed 9 4. They're now up 11 10. Jenna Hoying to serve again. Big hit to the back row, played by the libero, Schoenberger. Barhorse sets. Mesher. Mark, you asked me yesterday one time about who calls that backslide on that and when that happens, and I think I think they called that right during the play. I think Mesher just just uh, just told her that she's going back there on that slide. Tipped across that time by Marinus. Down the line it goes. Give that point to Deanna Rodeheffer. Deanna Hoing. Has served seven points. Really good serve that time. That will be a famous recipe chicken ace. 
So second ace in this run of points right here. 14-10. Set to the far side, Emily Miller hits. Leftman plays, tipped over by Barhorst. And is that gonna go out? 15-10. Substitute coming in, number four, Megan Rombach will enter. She will take the place of Avery Elkert. Coying again will serve. Miller has to just play it over. Barhorse sets. Miller tips. And finally the break, the run comes to an end. Tiffin Calvert now trails by four after that lengthy service. Well, and Fort Lormay had scored 11 of those 12 serves right there. Those 12 purrs went to Fort Lormay. Just a bit of an overpass, but they're gonna, Luffman plays it up front. Jordan Heffer hits. There's Mesher. Block. Rombach hit it, and it was blocked out of bounds. So it's 15-12 Senecas. That's her second kill. Bryn Dirksen, the setter for the Senecas, will serve, and she serves it out. 16-12, Redskins. Good heifer serves. Set far side, Rombach, and Megan hit it out. 17-12, what a turnaround for when it was 9-4. Yeah, it certainly was. Tiffin Calvert. Good serve. Roberto Schomburg has to play it. Set. Brandewey hits off a blocker. Rombach hits into Mesher's block. Luffman will play that. Brandewey will set. From behind the 10 foot line, Jenna Hoying. And what do we got? We have a Calvert Seneca in the net. That R2 is on the far side for me, Chris. I couldn't get the number of who she. I, I didn't see it up. either. Yep. But tremendous defense played in this set so far. Just great, great digs. Emily Miller hits it over. Barhorse was set. Mesher. Mesher hits it through a blocker. Miller was there. So was Marinus. 19-12. That's Mesher's third kill. And we're going to get a Calvert timeout. They were once up by five. They trail by seven. You're watching State Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. TV44 WSN funding campaign is underway now. Our goal is to raise $175,000 or more by the end of the year. Your donations stay local and are used to support WTLW and WSN. You can donate today at axeministries.com. I'll tell you what, Mark, whatever uh, Coach Rogers said in that timeout when they trailed 9-4, to four, he needs to write that down because <laughs> they've outscored uh, Calvert 15-3 since then. Rombach hits it over. Brandewey, what? Point, Double contact was the call. 19-13. Redskins as Gracie Miller will serve. Watch how high she tosses this. And nails that serve. Ball's blocked at the net that time by Borgio. Calvert will score. Chris, there are some gyms you couldn't throw the ball no. that high and serve <laughs> That's it. right, yeah. Yep. Obviously plenty of room here at the Nutter Center for that. Oh, we did see a ball get stuck in the scoreboard yesterday. We did. <laughs> 2014, Fort Laramie. 
Victoria Mesher's turn to serve. Julia Geyer comes into play in the front row. Set. Hit off a blocker by Marinus. Their first kill. 2015. Well, this has been a really good rotation for Calvert uh, so far today and also yesterday. Schoenberger to serve. Brandewi. And she hit it outside the antenna. 20 to 16. Schoenberger to serve again. Set out of the middle. Big hit for Julia Geyer. Julia had nine kills yesterday. Brandon Wee and Mesher each had 15. She was third with nine. Just her first today, but we may have a five set match today, so she'll have plenty of opportunities to get some more. Jenna Barhorst to serve. Ace. Lee famous recipe chicken ace for Jenna Barhorst. 22 16. Dirksen will set. That time the kill goes to Borgio off a blocker. 22-17. And in to serve. Avery Elkert will serve. Avery's a sophomore. This bar horse set out of the middle. The kill attempt by Geyer's blocked. Barhorse gets to it to set it, and then Brandewi hit it. We got touch. Yep. The line judge saw yeah, the touch. Exactly. Looked to the far side of the court, and the line judge had a touch call as Brandewi will serve. Her team needs two to take the opening set. Back set. Unable to complete the kill was Bella Borgio. Fort Laramie, a point away from taking the opening set. With Avery Brandewi, the first team All-Ohio player to serve. Back set again. Borgio goes through a blocker. And right there is Rhoda Heffer and Geyer. And Fort Laramie will take the opening set. 25-17, set two coming up after this. You're watching the State Volleyball Tournament on WOSN. We're ready for the second set here at the Nutter Center. Our set sponsor today is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Chris, you made a really good point during the, the sets here. This is the first set they've lost in a tournament. As far as the, you know, the Seneca's are concerned, how do they bounce back now? Well, you know, it's going to, they, they can, of course. They got great players, yep. and I'm sure they've got some leadership on the floor, even though they have no seniors. So, um, but, but that's a challenge for them now is to bounce back after that, especially when they were ahead 9-4 to four at one point and then, and then got outscored 21-8, to eight, the remaining... A uh, part of that set. On the other side, you're looking at a Fort Army team that has eight seniors. So it's a veteran group. They won a state basketball tournament. That they these girls have been in these type of situations before. They have been, yeah. Of course, the both teams play just the very toughest schedule that they possibly can play. So, so they've seen really good competition. Waiting for the line judge to get everybody established where they belong and. Julia Geyer will head to the bench as the libero, Katie Luffman, will take her place. One interesting thing on the Senecas here is that uh, first team All-Ohio Borgio uh, sophomore is not in the rotation when the match begins. So she comes in off the bench, still gets first team All-Ohio. She had two kills in the opening set. Really balanced scoring. I think we have like five or six different girls that have kills for both teams. Here's Brent Dirksen to serve. And we're into set two. Bit of an overpass. Oh, oh my goodness. 
Victoria Mesher starts set two off of an emphatic kill. You know, Mark, when a, a player shoots a jump shot, you have that optical illusion that makes it look like they're hang, they are freezing in the air and right. motionless, but it's an optical illusion. That's what we saw right there. It looked like she was just motionless in the air waiting for that ball to come to her. Set. Miller hits. And as you would expect, you go to your All-Ohio player, Emily Miller, a third-team All-Ohio player, ties it at one. And that's her fourth kill. And to serve will be Gracie Miller, the freshman. It's that high serve toss. But Luffman gets to it. Brandewey just tips it to an open spot. Like a change up in baseball. I was thinking the exact same thing. You're looking fastball, and instead you get the, the change up and scores a point as Victoria Mesher serves with her team up 2-1. Dirksen sets backside this time. There's the block. There's Jenna Barhorst. She had 31 blocks coming into the day, Chris, as the setter. <laughs> yeah, that's nice to have, isn't it? Yeah, of course, she is currently a front row player, which allows that. Mesher serve again. Her team's up two. Hit to the back row, and it fell right in. Marinas put the ball in the back line. Well, I thought there actually was a touch here by the agree. left back, so uh, people are complaining and thought that was out, but uh, I think it was touched anyway. Schoenberger serve. Ooh, and that will be a double contact that will take place, make it 3-3. Yeah, on the far side of the floor, there are a lot of officials wearing blue and white, and behind us, a lot of officials wearing red and black, willing, oh. <laughs> willing to assist the uh, people on the court. Yep, and, and they're doing it without pay. <laughs> Randui hits to the middle of the floor. A blocker got a hand on it. Still enough power to get it in. And Jenna Barhorst, 5'10 setter, will head to the back row and a first-team All-Ohio player this year. The talent she has been. Dirksen gets to it to set from behind the 10-foot line, hit by Miller, Gracie Miller. And Brandewey got it across, but the tip coming back across went outside the antenna. Nice job by Brandewey, just pushing that right into the block. 5-3, Redskins. Hit, Borgio. Luthman will set Brandewey this time. And she scores again. Kill number six for her. And that is also a 6-3 lead. There's your setter doing her job with us. Yep. Or your libero being the second setter, I should say. Good serve. Barhorse hits that. Here's Luffman's going to set again. And Brandewey again. Overpass. Let's see what Calvert does. Barhorse tips it again. And the kill that time goes to Megan Rombach. 6-4. Calvert serving. In the serve will be Avery Alkert. Set. Well, that was a really good hit that time by Jenna Hoyne to avoid the antenna. Yeah, the set was a little bit too far outside for where she wanted it, and she was able to adjust her approach and, and, and tap that right into the block. We had a great angle on that. That was a very difficult angle for her to hit the ball to. Oh, and Brandon, we tried to get the climb over the net. It would not do so. It's 7-5. Redskins still on top. Kate Coleman will enter to serve. She plays the back row. Borgio plays the front row. Set, hit. Into the blocker that time. Catch it. That would look like it was Miller got that block. 
Seven, six. It's Calvert's second block, first of this set. Coleman will serve again. Barhorst runs a long way to track it down and then hit off the blocker and the point goes to Deanna Rodeheffer. And the serve will be the libero, Katie Luthman, one of the eight seniors on this team. Dirksen will set. And they keep it alive. Free balled over, but it went out of bounds. Not going to see too many free balls go out of bounds in this uh, match. Had a good look at Jenna Barhorst. She just looked at herself like, what am I doing? Yeah. You know, she is so talented when she makes an error. It's just such a surprise. Here's a pass that goes to Mesher. Oh, what a dig. It certainly was. Luffman will set again. This time she'll set the middle of the floor where Brandon we just tips it over. Another great defensive play. Can they keep it in? And nope. nope. Goes outside the antenna. Point. Good effort, just not a good angle to make the play with. Right. Jenna Hoying's turn to serve. Marinus hits, Mesher is there, so is Barhorst. PA guy gave the block to Jenna Barhorst. Pair of them there. Here's Jenna Hoying. Oh, that's going to be an overpass, and you don't want to do that and put it in Victoria Mesher's wheelhouse. And that's her fifth kill. 11-7, four-point lead, and we're going to get a Calvert timeout. Fort Lauderdale on a roll in second set, two. You're watching the State Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Back at the Nutter Center, Wright State, our presenting sponsor today is Burke Petroleum. They're now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Reese Myrie and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. And that scoreboard shows the Fort Lum Redskins with a four-point lead in set two. Jenna Hoying to serve. So this rotation is broken that time. It's 11-8. And to serve will be the setter, Bryn Dirksen. Well, I'll see if uh, Tiffin Calvert can take advantage of that and get a few points. Dirksen serves, and she gets an ace. A Lee saying this recipe, chicken ace. That's two pretty quick points, a missed serve and an ace. She had 56 serves before state tournament action. Did not record one yesterday. Back set Mesher. Dirksen got to that. Here's a libero to set. And they kept it in play. Good effort that time by Rombach. But she hit it out of bounds. Well, that was the only direction that she could hit that. Yep. Otherwise, it would have been outside the antenna on our side here. So, so she really had no choice to hit it in that direction. But she, could have hit it a little softer, I guess. Rombach will hit it over from behind the 10-foot line. Luffman gets to it. Good set for Brandewe. Good diving play over there by Schoberger. And there's a kill. Give that one to Emily Miller. That's her fifth. She leads the Senecas and kills. 12-10. Coach Rogers said something to our R2 referee. I'm not sure what he, he was discussing right there. Gracie Miller will serve. High toss. Luffman got it. Mesher just tips it. Back set. Rumbach hits it through the block, and there's Mesher again. They oh, kept it alive. And what? Called it out. Outside the antenna. Yep. Hmm. Line judge has a better view than we do. Correct. 
That's one for the R1. It's difficult to call because it's right in front of your it face is. with the antenna. Yep, unless, it, unless it hits the antenna. Yeah. That time, Coach Rombach questioned our R2 about where the location of that was. Mesher serves. Borgia with a hit. Jenna Hoyne got to it, and they keep it alive. But a kill out of the middle of Marinus. 13-11. That's her third kill. Schoenberger to serve the junior libero. White jersey. Five aces yesterday, none today so far. She has to come and dive and make a play on the overpass. Luffin will set this one to Brandewee. Brandewee gets another chance, and this time she hits it off a blocker. That's her fifth kill of this set. 14-11. And a Barhorst will serve. Good serve from her. Dirksen will back set to Rombach. And then set. Brandewee. Brandewee hits it off a blocker. 15-11. There's been a lot of points scored today that uh, spikes that are hit off the blocker, both sides. Jenna Barhorst again. Set. Tipped over by Borgio, and she got a point out of it. Well, she's the one that passed that serve. I know that uh, Fort Loramie has been serving toward her, and that time she made a great pass off the serve and got the ball back from the setter and got the kill. Avery Elkert's turn to serve. She had an ace yesterday, 42 on the season. Good serve. Back set, Brandewee. And this time she hits it through the block of Bella Borgio. 16-12. There has not been a long run, Chris. It's kind of a just a steady, you know, keeping working at to get yeah. a four-point mm -hmm. lead. Yep. Dirksen sets. Hit over by Ware. That hit was by. Gracie Miller, Brandewee from behind the 10-foot line. Set goes to Bella Borgio. It's Rode Heffer hit that one. Borgio again, softer this time. Leftman will set. Diving play in the back row by Gracie Miller. Then the libero oh. <laughs> rolls it over. She did jump from behind the line. And the point eventually goes to a tip play by Deanna Rode Heifer. She's got four kills now, but that was just a great rally. It doesn't it seem like, though, as the rallies go lengthy, Fort Laramie wins them, at least it, the majority of those? It, it seems that way. Yeah. We don't keep that stat, but it seems like they have. Borgia will hit this one, but she hits it right to Brandewee. Rode Heifer's going to get another opportunity. Barhorse sets in the middle. And the kill this time will go to Julian Geyer. And it's gotten to be a six-point lead for Fort Laramie. Brandewee will serve. Set in the middle of Borgia, and this time it got touched by Luffman. That's her fourth kill. Cuts it to a five-point lead as Kate Coleman will enter the serve. 18-13 on the Reese Myring and Company CPA scoreboard. Set. I hit the antenna. It did. Officials called it, yeah. Line judge kept pointing it out. Had to wait for the official up to see it. 18-14. Those line judges don't get whistles, and there's a reason behind that. They just had to wait for the R1 to see his motion. 19-14. Fourth miss serve for Tiffany Calvert this afternoon. A Luffman will serve. 
So Blair's turn to serve. A talented freshman with 141 kills, including 10 yesterday in the semifinal. Barhor sets. Just tipped over by Rhoda Heffer. They keep it alive, but not able to get it across the net. First one to 20 is Fort Laramie. It's her fifth kill. Nice little uh, tandem there on the outside, it looked like. That was, that was a nice play. Here's Jenna Hoings turn to serve. Dirksen will set cross court to Marinus. Victoria Mesher. 21-15 for Army. Timeout, Tiffin Calvert. They trail by six in set number two. You're watching high school tournament volleyball from the state tournament on WOSN. You can stream the WSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. Download to Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wsn.tv. And I know we said a moment ago, Chris, Fort Army has not strung together a bunch of points, but just enough here and there to get the six-point lead. And I'm really surprised that, uh, that, they, that there hasn't been a, a run by either side. It, it just seems like teams that are this good, of course, they're playing. Uh, a tremendous team on the other side of the net. Emily Miller hits it through a blocker and she scores. Now see that time I couldn't tell which way the that ball came down on which side of the net. That's just really tough for, for, to see right here. We're very close. Here's Bryn Dirksen to serve. Her team trails by five. Bryn has 56 aces on the season. Almost got another one on a diving play that time by Rodehafer. Dirksen will set this time, and out of the middle, Brandewee had to play that in the back row. Set again and pushed this time, but right to Allie McCumber, and be called out. Uh, out of bounds. 21-17. There's a Lee's famous recipe chicken ace. Here comes Calvert, 21-18. Coach Rogers sees that and says, I'm going to take a timeout. Good service has set up some points right here for Calvert. Yeah, she's got two aces, and uh, and the serving's been tough, and, and Fort Lorme's had a little tough time passing it right here. But still trailed by three. Quite, quite by chance, Chris, uh, back in 2014, I was assigned to telecast a Fort Army football playoff game on the same day they won the state volleyball tournament for the first time. And the girls came into the stadium right before kickoff wearing their medals. The crowd was electric and enthusiastic. It was really quite a reception for the girls that day. How fun is that? That's just great. Really great was. memory. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll, all those players remember that as well. Right now, they're trying to do this for a second time. They were runner-ups in between 2014 and now. These girls right here would have been in second, first, and kindergarten. I wonder how many of them were here. Barhorse were back set. Mesher. Well, that's the way to break the string. Slide play gets them a four-point lead, and back to serve will be Deanna Rodeheffer. Yep, 10 years ago, they would have been uh, second graders, wouldn't they? Yeah. If you're a senior, the eight of them. Rombach hits. Mesher will get hit and set again, and she scores again. Coming out of the timeout, back-to-back -back points, Victoria Mesher. That's her fifth kill this set, eighth overall. Victoria Mesher, a second-team All-Ohio player, actually led this team with 269 kills coming into today. 15 of them came yesterday. She just blocked that one. Rombach hits. And Luffman can't quite get to it off the block. It's 23-19 for Army. In the serve. Gracie Miller will enter to serve. This could be a pretty good rotation for the Senecas with Miller serving and Borgio just comes into the game. 
playing on the outside. Really good serve, but Luffman plays that. It's dumped over. Good play by, nope, he's going to get caught for it. Schumberger got caught for a double hit. When, when you get the ball like belly button high, it's really high, hard to play the ball legally. Yeah, plus it came to her so quickly. Yep. Here is Fort Lauderdale with Victoria Messer serving, trying to close out set two. Set in the middle. Not yet, says Paris Barrena, says she scores. Well, Fort Lauderdale will have four more set points here. There's Schoenberger to serve. Bar horse, we're set. Brandewe. And when you need a point, you go to your all Ohio player. So set number two goes the way of the Fort Lauderdale Redskins. They have a two set to none lead. You're watching the State High School Volleyball Tournament on WOSN. Back to the Nutter Center here at Wright State University. Our presenting sponsor today is Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. And our third set sponsor today is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living in your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. What kind of numbers you got, Chris? Well, for Fort Laramie, they had 18 kills in that set, led by All-Ohio and Avery Brandewee with eight. Victoria Mesher had five. Uh, they blocked two points, uh, two points for blocks, and they missed two serves. For Calvert, they had 10 kills, led by Emily Miller and Karis Marinas with three. Two ace serves, one block, and one miss. So what I'm hearing from you, Fort Laramie won the set. They got 18 kills. They got a couple blocks for points. They won the set. It wasn't errors on the other side. 18 kills is a lot of That's kills lot of in kills. one set. You know, you, you can only score 25 points unless sure. it goes to extra points. So, so that's really a lot of kills for the points. To set three we go as Deanna Rodeheffer serves. Mesher got her hands on that one at the net. Barhor sets Mesher. It's blocked, though. Comes right back. I think that was Emily Miller blocked that one. Getting off to a quick start is really important for Calvert here, isn't it? It is. It yep. is. They really need to do that. And uh, if nothing else, just to keep their confidence up. Here's Gracie Miller to serve. Really cool serve from her. Put a good diving play. And then right back for a kill comes Morris. 2-0 Calvert. In the opening set, they led 10-5 uh, at one point. There's an ace. Chalk that up. It's a Lee's famous recipe chicken ace. Located in Wapak, Dolphus, and St. Mary's, locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering too, and that was a tremendous serve, Chris. And I was afraid she tossed that one up I too high. Too. The I... higher it tossed, the harder it is to time it. I thought the same thing. That was up in the stratosphere. Let's see, another one's up there. And she rolls that one across. She sets up a teammate that from Marinus. Mesher has to free ball it. Rombach gets to the back row. Avery Brandewee gets a chance. And winning the joust at the net is Victoria Mesher. That will allow Julian Geyer to enter play in the front row as Victoria Mesher skates back to serve. Played to the back row by Marinus. Brandewey's going to get a chance. She just tips it this time. Borgio hits off a of blocker. It's blocked out of bounds. That's her fifth kill today. 4-1 Calvert. Claire Schoenberger to serve. Brandon, we will get another opportunity. She hits that one to Schoenberger, and what? 
Got a Calvert in the net. The call was Borgio. I didn't see that at all, but she's not complaining, so. Yep. Jenna Barhorst. Dirksen will set again. That kill will go to Hope Ware. That's just her second kill, but she hasn't had a lot of opportunities today. Avery Elkert enters to play. Serve will be in the back row. She plays back row. Megan Lombach plays the front row. Back set. Brandui scores off a block. Both these teams receive serves so well. Uh, just an example right there, just a great pass to the setter. Gets a kill right away. But both teams really receive serve well. Brandui serves. Brandui gets the lead, same as Vespi Chicken, ace. Well, I think uh, Miller wanted to get out of the way there, and she just couldn't decide, should I play it or should I get out of the way? And well, that usually spells disaster. To what you said a moment ago, I, I read several different websites coming in today, and one of those, Coach Rogers, says the winner it will be the one who returns serve best today. And then I don't think he meant just return serve, but pass it to his setter. I think right. that's how he wanted to phrase that. That happens a lot. Yep. Set, here comes Barhorst to set in the middle. Geyer hit it off a blocker. This will be behind the 10 foot line and left short by Gracie Miller. Tied at five. Brandui serving. Emily Miller has to go a long way to track that one down. Back set will go to Jenna Hoying. This will be Hope Ware, but she nice hits the left one. Yes, it was. And Avery Brandewee from behind the 10-foot line. Everybody's looking for a touch, and there isn't one. 6-5, Tiffin Calvert. Kate Coleman will serve. Calvert up one. Set to the middle of the floor, Geyer hits. And the libero, Schoenberger plays it over. And again, this time also to Schoenberger, gonna track it down. Good run by Kate Coleman, and they keep it alive, or is it gonna fall in? Oh, Brandon, well, we played close. it. Yeah. I think it was probably in. It ends up being a kill for Julian Geyer. You're Brandon, and you look at the ball, you don't know where that back line is, and she didn't want to take a chance, she went and played it. <laughs> And they get a kill out of it, a kill from Geyer. It's their third, one in each set. Katie Luffman will serve. Set, Mesher hits. And Miller tried to push it across to the corner and couldn't find it. So for the first time in this set, Fort Lamy's taking a lead at 7-6. Dirksen will set again. This time she does to Miller. And what a play by Luffman to keep it alive. She gets another hit and hits it to Luffman again. That time she makes a great pass. And Mesher that time mistimed her jump. Set was a little higher than she intended. Got those two returns though, or passes by Katie Luffman. Oh yeah. Just to get a dig and get, get, keep it in play. Hope Ware serves. Tip to an open spot. They pancaked it. Nope. I didn't hear the whistle that time as Deanna Rodehe for scores. I thought it's hard for us to tell, but officials looking right at it. Jenna Hoying's turn to serve. Set far side of the court for Marinas. But the play by Barhorst to keep that alive from her knees. And then the kill goes to Marinas. And that's her sixth. Tied at eight. Boy, Fort Lormie did really did a nice job of keeping that ball alive. Yeah. This net is so loose, and they played it out of the net really well. And then to do so legally without having prolonged contact, that's quite a play. 
Dixon serves. Barhorse will set Mesher. This time Barhorse goes cross court to Rodeheffer. Schoenberger gets to it. Emily Miller gets it blocked, and they're going to keep it alive. And Rhoda Heffer goes off a blocker again, and what do we got? Outside the antenna, Outside I guess. Outside the antenna was the call. Rhoda Heffer gets another kill. That's another time I didn't hear the whistle there either. Let's get us looking for a ball to serve. <laughs> Finally, Deanna Rodeheffer finds one. She has 80 aces this year to lead this team. 5'9", senior. And we're having some discussion. This time, Coach Rogers is a little happier to talk to the R2. A big smile on his face, whatever that particular discussion was about. And she served it right on the back line. A Lee, famous recipe chicken ace. Two-point lead in the third set for Fort Laramie, and we're going to get a momentary break by Karina, Karis Marinas ties her shoe. That was just a perfect serve. This is going to be set by Marinas. Rombach, Rombach hits. Mesher goes off of two blockers. Emily Miller's going to get a chance, and this time she hits it through Mesher's block. 10-9, Emily Miller, third team All-Ohio player this year. And to serve will be Gracie Miller. Good play that time by Rodeheffer to keep that serve alive. Barhorse will set, and Brandewee hits and scores. 11-9. This is much like a set number two, Chris. No long point runs, but just gradually, Fort Lauderdale's taking a two-point lead. Well, they'll, they'll get two points when uh, Calvert gets one, I guess. It seems to be that way, doesn't it? Good serve. There's a good block. I think Jenna Barhorse was there to get that one. She went up along with Geyer. One of the two of them sent it back. That's their sixth of, uh, of the morning. That's great to have a 5 10 setter with athleticism. Three point lead. Fort Long Redskins. Brandy's going to get a chance. And she scores. Four point lead. Fort Long Timeout. Tiffin Calvert. Fort Long with a four point lead as we're in set three. You're watching the State Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Reese Myring and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Four-point lead on that Reese Myring and Company CPA scoreboard. Just looking back, Chris, Tiffin Calvert scored the th first three points of this set on serve. They've not scored on serve since then. Well, re really since that 9-4 to four lead that they had in the first set, Fort Loramie really has been the better team. And that includes Victoria Mesher, who's about to serve this one. Pass to the middle, it's tipped over that time. Barhorse shot is blocked, come back. Randewey tips. Brombach hit that one. Brandewey again, and Brandewey scores again. Another kill for Avery Brandewey. It's her 14th on the day and fourth in this set. Mesher scored three points on serve to give her team a five-point lead. Borgio hit it into the antenna. Well, and then she tripped over that padding that's extended outside the uh, pole. This is it's really kind of dangerous. We've already had a, an official trip yes. over that padding earlier, and this, now a player. The same thing yesterday. Our two fell over that thing and went down hard and was able to continue into the match. Set, one-handed set that time for Marinas. 
Brander is going to get another opportunity. And this one, Brander, we has to play. And gets another chance. And she gets a kill out of it. Mesher has served five points. Redskins feeling it right now, Chris. They're getting close. Well, you don't want to celebrate too soon, yeah. although it's a seven-point lead. Might be tough to overcome. Dirksen will set Rombach, and she hits it off a block that time. Brandewee was there. And that makes it 16-10, Fort Laramie. I'll tell you who's really enjoying this volleyball are those four managers over there from <laughs> Fort Laramie. They're standing behind the bench, and they're having a great time. And in about six years, they plan on being here. They, they will be. Brandewee tips, and Brandewee scores. Kind of smiles at herself. She didn't get as much on that one as she would like to have, but still got the point. She's got six kills already. Six of the nine kills for Fort, uh, for Fort Lormy are, are from Brandywee in this set. Yeah, you go to your first team all Ohio closer, yep. don't you? Jenna Barhort served that ball. This will be back set to Mwambach, and it's blocked. Blocked out of bounds. Yep. Brandywee wanted a touch call, didn't get it. She blocked it out of bounds, but her team still leads by six. That's Rombach's six kill. Two in each set. Avery Elkert will become the new server for the Senecas. Off the top of the net. Look at that net, Bob. And from the far side, Brandewee tried to go cross court and did not get it. Well, she did. Or not. Now we're going to discuss who hit it. It went out of bounds well, with a touch. Well, it was definitely off the net because the net, I don't know if the R1 called that or a line judge. Well, I know Coach Rombaugh's having a serious discussion with our R2, Lisa Horner, right there. And the point does go to Fort Laramie. So it's 18-11. And a block at the net, Julian Geyer. We haven't called her name too often today, but that was a huge block, and that's the seventh block for just for just one of those Fort steady, Lormie. consistent players. Yep. Every team needs one or two of those. This set's going to go to where? Middle set, Geyer. Tipped over. Wow. And got bailed out a little bit. That ball was headed out of bounds. Roadheffer's going to get another hit, and she scores. That's one of those Chris you go play because you never know whether it's going to fall in or not, but it looked like it was going to go out of bounds. Well, you, you can't see both the line and the ball, and somebody may have called play it, play it, so you do what your teammate says. So at 20 to 11, Calvert will take their final timeout of set three. You're watching the State Triple Volleyball on WOSN. The Three Wise Men Podcast, Danny Holbrook, Miles Holiday, Nate Garlock. Each week we discuss local football matchups, Buckeye football, and sports across the state of Ohio and WSN's newest podcast that's called The Three Wise Men. Is that ironically called The Three uh, Wise Men, or are they actually Three I, Wise Men? I think men? it's self-promoting, I <laughs> think. Yeah, so. In the middle, hit off a blocker that time by Ware. Rodeheffer's going to tip, and she found an open spot. Great vision. Well, I don't recall her tipping one earlier, so it was a great time for it. She's got three kills in this set. And Brandewee has scored three service points to put her team up 10. Serves again. From behind the 10-foot line. Good Pass to the front. Dirks is going to tip to the middle, and that's going to be an easy point for Hope Ware as everybody was backing off, expecting something hard, and she found the open spot. Kate Coleman will enter to serve. Luffman will play that. Brandewee has to set. And again, a tip to an open spot by Hope Ware. 
21-13. Yeah. It worked before, why not again? That's their third kill in this set. I said earlier, they scored the first three points of the match on service. That right there is their first point on service since then. Set, Rodeheffer tips. Emily Miller hits it to Brandewee. Good play by Luffman. The ball was tipped over by Dirksen. And then the kill. We go to Jenna Hoying. 22-13, and you can see the excitement on the bench. Those young ladies over there think it's, they're really excitable. Well, that's just her second kill. A great decision there to set that ball back to her. Here's the young ladies had a really good day as the libero, Katie Luffman. Emily Miller gets her shot blocked. It's put over, however, by Ware. And then a point will go for Miller. But it stays an eight-point lead for Fort Laramie. Hope Ware will serve now. And that ball was hit long by Deanna Rodeheffer. Had to wait for the official to call it. Not too many bodies in the way to yeah. see. Hope Ware again. Mesher. Wow, that's a good nut. Really a nice hit. Victoria Mesher puts her team two points away from the state tournament championship. That's her 10th kill today. Redskins were here in 2019. They lost to Lou Bremen. They won it in 2014. There's a kill, though. That was Emily Miller. Bryn Dirksen will go back to set. Tiffin Calvert, 28-0 coming into today's action. Mesher. Mesher again. And the libero tried to play it over and could not. And here is Fort Laramie a point away. Well, they'll get eight opportunities to get that 25th point. Deanna Rodeheffer, a chance to serve for a state championship. Back set, Emily Miller off a block. Brandewee. And Jenna Barhorst didn't know which way the pass was coming. She had her back to it, and it fell on the floor. So it's 24-17 with Gracie Miller to serve. That time she uses a float serve. Brandewee. It's a state tournament championship for the Fort Laramie Lady Redskins as they take set three, 25-17. Chris and I'll be back in a moment. We're going to watch the same Fort Laramie team gather in their championship trophy and talk about this one back in a moment. You're watching the state volleyball tournament on WOSN. At the Nutter Center, the Fort Laramie Lady Redskins about to take a championship trophy home and individual medals as they have defeated the Tiffin Calvert team today in three sets, 25-17, 25-20, and 25-17. Chris, let's start with the Senecas. First of all, it's a very talented team, but for the second year in a row, they're going to go home with a runner-up trophy, but a fine season of 28-1. Did so without a senior. Oh, it's just a great, a great, great season plan. I know they're upset right now, and they're probably all making a vow to themselves that we will be back here next year. And they could be back here next year. But, yeah, just a great season. And a great way to go out for these eight seniors from Fort Laramie and their coach John Rogers in his 18th year. They've won a state championship again this year. I know you've got a lot of stat numbers jump off the page at you, Chris. I, I want to highlight one, first of all. 
And that is Katie Luthman had 17 digs today, and many of them were spectacular plays today. She just got her medal. Well, yeah, the, as hard as uh, the Seneca's hit the ball, she was right there. And, and not only are they digs they stayed in play, but they were digs that were passed to the setter. And that's she just did a, a great job. Also, it probably had a few assists also the way because she's the, sort of the alternate setter. Let's see if she had some assists here. Uh, she had four. Yep. So and then talking about that, Jenna Barhorst had 39 assists today on their, their 47 kills. So what other numbers jump off the page at you, Chris? We can kind of get into our stat numbers here a little bit. Well, with those 47 kills led by Avery Brandery with 20 and Victoria Mesher with 10, and they had uh, six different girls had kills. Uh, back to the digs, four different uh, Fort Laramie players were double di digits in digs, and they had 64 digs overall. Also notice that on the day there were 11 tie scores, and that doesn't count, 0-0. Zero, zero and uh, four lead changes with just a, just a great uh, a great championship match. Well, Chris, the average person's going to pick up the program and go, okay, so it's a three-set victory, but it was not a, a spread-out three-set victory. They were three contested sets. Yeah, it took almost an hour and 15 minutes, and, and uh, we saw some three-set matches yesterday, and they were all done quite a bit quicker than that. Just a lot of really tough points. Just points really had to be earned. As you can see, the Fort Laramie girls going to walk over and face the cameras and get their championship trophy. We want to congratulate them. They finished the season 28-1. They were 12-0 in the Shelby County Athletic League, and they will take home their second, second state volleyball championship here from the OHSAA. Our scoreboard today has been brought to you by Reese Meyering and Company. Our ace sponsor was Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Our set sponsor was Ultimate Outdoor, and our presenting sponsor was Burke Petroleum. I want to thank the good people here at Wright State University for putting this thing together. Megan, Megan Sherrick did all of our camera and audio work. Nick Friendly will edit this together back at the station. A three-set victory and a state championship for the Fort Lauderdale Redskins. You've been watching the Ohio High School Volleyball Championship on WOSN.